said. <laughs> he said he wants to buy it. <laughs> Down here and like uh, hit the brakes and kind of sliding in the rear. Yeah, it's a little but, bit sketchy in the grass. When yeah. it's a little bit wet, you do a couple burnings. But dang, dude, that's crazy how it's street legal. That's where it's at right there. Yep. Yes, sir. That, I like it, man. A little bit better than the street bike, you know? Yeah, because it's so small, you can handle it. You can rip it. Throw it around, you know what I mean? Just throw it around. Like. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're starting out at the Insurance Auto Auction in Atlanta. We got a new build for the channel, so I've already got it paid for. I'm going to go ahead and give this paperwork to the loader, and then we'll check it out when it comes out. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> we gave our ticket to the loader. That's going to be coming out in just a second, but check out this Accord. If somebody wants to cop something with some nice wheels... Not too much damage. For like a starter car, it's got some nice wheels on the other side and just barely hit right here in the front. These guys are all loaded up, they're ready to go. Oh, and there she is. Here she is. As soon as this guy figures out what he's doing. Check it out white BMW boom I'm pretty sure the loader did that I just seen the bumper sit back Overall, it's in great shape. So this is a repo. It's only got 70, 65,000 miles. I am gonna try to drive it back home. It's about a two hour drive. So let's go ahead and get the keys and see if it'll crank up. It is a run and drive 2008 BMW X5. Overall, it looks in great shape. The only damage I see all of our body lines and everything it doesn't seem like this car has been wrecked before because all the paint matches up but i'm pretty sure the loader did this damage right here to the front bumper i see how close he got to it uh, which is not a big deal because you could replace just that bottom trim but let's go ahead and jump inside and see pretty clean inside i do hear a little beeping so it means we still got a little bit of juice on the battery we got our key oh snap we actually got two keys check that out that's pretty awesome. Got the electronic shifter right here. Hopefully this is a Navi. It's got the nice leather, which is in pretty good shape. Oh, nice, and it's got the panorama roof. That's pretty awesome. Check out the back. Dang, it's nice and clean over here. I don't think I ever bought a car this clean. We got the AC control right back there. And I don't think we have anything in the trunk. So let me go ahead and pop the hood real quick. Check our oil and our radiator fluid. Under the hood, everything looks original. All the plastics is there, nothing's like zip tied. So I did go ahead and check our coolant. We're good to go on that. I can't really find the dipstick. I think it shows it on the screen inside. So let me go ahead and give this a crank and we could go from there. What's up guys, next day here and we finally made it back with the car. The two and a half hour drive turned into like a four with traffic and I was pretty wore out last night. So today, I'm going to go ahead and give the car a full detail, then we can do a walk around and check out all the damages. We are having some noise coming from the left suspension, but the car made it back with no issues. Some of my footage got deleted at the auction, so let's go ahead and get started with today. Alright guys, so we just got the front wheel off, and as you can see, it's got a broken belt, and it's very warped. 
that's the reason our steering wheel was shaking at like 60 miles but as you can see it's also dry rotted so we're going to go ahead and get a replacement on that so that we could drive the car around and so I'm gonna load this sucker up swap it out i'll catch you back at the house and then he's probably also going to get some more paint for the mustang because i have to blend that fender this is a nice little workhorse right here oh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and leave that open you know get to that fresh air yeah go wheels all the other tires are in good shape there's no dry rot or anything like that and check out how clean the wheels are there's no curb marks or anything like that and just in general the car overall is in great shape there's no dings or scratches all over All right guys, so we got the BMW all detailed up. I got a used tire back on here. I didn't want to buy a new one because we're probably going to get a new set of wheels. I really like the Y spokes on these BMWs. So we'll just have to buy a complete set later on. But overall, the car cleans up well. There's no other damage. I did find this little crack right here on this bottom trim plastic. We can either fix that or replace it. But everything else, the car is in really good shape. There's like a little ding right over here. Not sure if the camera will pick that up. Not a big deal. That's just normal wear and tear. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and buff out the headlights. We're probably going to be replacing them. I've got like a little trim panel where you can order a trim replacement for this. But for now, I want to get them in better condition. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff them out and see what it looks like. You can also sand these with the 1000 or just replace the headlights. But these are the Xenons. They're kind of expensive. I, just, I am trying to find some noise over here on this suspension. Every time you hit a pothole or a little dip in the road, there's some noise coming from here. So I'm going to try to fix that. I think it's our shock absorber. But the car cleans up really well. It's only going to get cleaner when we give it a few more washes because it did bake in the sun with all the dirt and contaminant on the paint. And what I used on our trim panels was this right here. This stuff works great. It's a trim and plastic restorer. And as you can see, I mean... They're nice and shiny or they're nice and black instead of like sun faded. And what really surprised me with this car is that we don't have any check engine lights. Like I took my OBD scanner with me to pick this car up because I was at least expecting a check engine light. You could kind of see the normal wear and tear on the BMW interior like this right here. Um, it's kind of sticky and I just need to clean this up. But all the buttons work. Our sunroof works. All the crap that they talk about online about BMWs having like broken switches and very poor interior quality. Um, some of that is true. You can kind of see right here how the paint is coming off. It doesn't look too bad. And then right over here the paint is coming off. I'm going to clean that up. But overall the interior is in great shape. The buttons work. There's nothing falling out or the buttons not responding. Here and check this out. We got our glove box right here. We still got all the manuals. I haven't even looked at this stuff. Whatever, there's just the manual and stuff. We're going to go ahead and jump in here after we get our headlights clean and really just touch this all up. The wood looks in great shape.
All right, guys, so we just got our headlights all buffed out. Here's the medium cutter I used to begin with, and then I use this compound right here and the polisher to finish up. That's the product I used. This one right here is in a little bit more rough shape, and I didn't want to spend too much time since we're replacing them anyways, but they look a whole lot cleaner. And this one right here is actually in really good shape, but it does have a few rock chips or whatnot. And this dirt right here is from the inside. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and take the car off the ramps. I have to figure out this air box out. I think we're missing a few clips on that. And then button this right here up. And my nephew's gonna jump inside and start detailing the interior. So let's get that done. All right guys, so we just wrapped it up with our air box. I had to put a few more clips on it. Everything is nice and tight. And then this panel right here, I didn't notice it at first, but it's actually broke off. I'm gonna have to source one out of junkyard or just order it from the dealer. Not a big deal, just normal wear and tear. We also got the interior all sparkling. My nephews helped me with that. And there's no smoking odor in the car. Everything is nice and clean. Check out the rear. The floor mats are all weather. We just cleaned those up. They're drying in the sun right over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this hood. Go get me some food and then we could go from there. think one of the goons boys pulled up <laughs> yeah, dude oh yeah this is our place right here hey 
You creeping? Y'all be sure to subscribe to Danny TV, man. With the new build, that thing is sick. Yeah, for sure. I'm just cruising, man. Just cruising. I can't keep up with that X5, though. Thing's too quick. Yeah, I got that all-wheel drive system on it, you know what I mean? Oh, man, it's scary fast. Look at him go. Shoot. And crank her up. Is the red button, like, go all the way in? You gotta just hold the clutch to start it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at him, man. You get a little comfortable. They might kick back on you. <laughs> oh, he's just having a good yeah, little time. Them bikes are fun, man, but mainly a street bike. You know, off road, you're going to go slipping on it. Yeah. Boy smiling super hard. Smiling. He won't even give me my bike back. Yeah. He took off. <laughs> Alright guys, that's a wrap for this episode. We just got the BMW all cleaned up. I think we got a W on the BMW just by how well it drives and cleans up. There's no smoking odor inside the car. We do have some suspension noise that we have to take care of on that right side. I've already got a new shock absorber on the way. With all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. We got some more awesome builds on the way. Follow us on Instagram at Danny.tv. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.